making the most of your holidays when you are not, you know, the typical American family. If you're not Norman Rockwell, well, don't worry. We're going to talk about how to cope with divorce, sharing time, all those things that make this time of year a little bit difficult. Well, we know that the holiday season can be stressful. Divorce, it can add all kinds of layers to that. Shared custody, it gets difficult. It can be difficult for the parents, difficult for the kids. Yeah. So we are here to help you sort it all out. Family law attorney and mediator, Elisa Peskin Shepherd has some answers for us, so welcome. Thank you, it's great to be back. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Uh, so it is, it, it can be a difficult time emotionally for many reasons, but especially if you're dealing with divorce, right? Right, so let's remember that divorce is so emotional. And I like to look at it more as a transition to a new beginning rather than looking at it as an end. Um, but when you're facing the holidays, especially for the first time, and you might not be with your children when you usually are, you have to think about new strategies. What are you going to do so that you can manage the holidays for yourself as well as for your children because everybody's facing a new situation. Yeah, it's not just not having your kids. It's this whole, uh, you know, fairy tale that has dissolved where yes. yeah, I know it's a new beginning, but divorce is, a, it can be a very sad ending and you're suddenly facing the holiday and the, and the memories that you made with that person. You have to put those aside, right? You have to put those aside. One of the best things to help yourself is to like let go of grudges. Really, when you think about the spirit of the holidays, you're thinking about what can I do for myself? What is the best thing for me? And let go of grudges. Let go of the grudge that you might have had against your ex. Now, as a mediator, I imagine you you find yourself in the middle of very difficult situations. Absolutely. And we can, we can give this advice, and we know that it makes sense, but how do you tell your clients to actually, how do you guide them to let go of the grudge, right? It's one thing to say it, but to actually yeah. do it can be yeah. much more difficult than that. Right, so I've done it, so that helps, right? Okay. If I it's possible. try to step outside of that place where, you know, the, where the anger and the resentment are. And the holidays are about kindness and giving. And it's a, it's a state of mind, the spirit of the holiday. So get yourself into that spirit and be kind and show kindness. Celebrate with your children whenever you're with them in whatever way, whether it's with a gift or a gift of time or special attention. Put away your cell phones, things like that where you're just really focused. And showing your kids how to be kind to your former spouse, to the cashier at the grocery store is really going to help change your spirit and your kids as well. So we see some of the advice that you have offered up on the screen now. Is there a point where you encourage for the divorced family to come together for the holidays or how do you know if you're ready for that? That is so personal. Um, it is definitely something that you should try to do for your children, if, especially if your children are asking for that. And I find with my clients, younger children will often ask, can't we still celebrate all together? And um, I do a lot of collaborative divorce work. And those parents often in their parenting plan that they, have, that they put together themselves, they decide that on certain holidays they're going to have certain time together. So maybe it's Christmas morning that they're going to all have breakfast together so that they can all watch opening the presents together. So really how you go through your divorce is going to make a difference in how you're going to be able to celebrate holidays in the future. I don't know how, it, I'm sorry, how far you go in the specialty. Is there a place in this conversation for step parents or people who are also in a new situation, perhaps for the first time for the holidays? How is that to be navigated? Well, you have new family situations mm -hmm. and there's always a learning curve going on. So when you're bringing fa families together into blended families, then you have new traditions that you're creating, new traditions with new people and new families. But is that part of a plan? In other words, when you're going through a divorce, do you sit down and say, okay, Christmas morning from seven in the morning until noon, we will be together wherever the kids are watching them. And then I am allowed to incorporate my significant other into, I mean, is that all written out in advance? Yeah, so remember when you're going through the divorce, usually you, d you don't have a significant other already, but as the attorney, I can look at the bigger picture and I can say down the road, you might have somebody else. How is your spouse going to react to that situation? You wanna have a parenting plan, a set parenting plan that says who's going to be with the children when, and you can vary from that plan any time that you want to. That's one thing, you know, you have something in your judgment of divorce, 
but the parents can decide to change that if they can want you? to. Yes, and <laughs> both parents can have to change as long as they agree. In this situation, right. Right. I mean, I would imagine that's the key. Sometimes you have key. one side, right, who says this is the plan. This I did this research, met this nice lady with this beautiful suit, and this is what she says <laughs> that we should do. And then you have someone else who says, I don't care, I don't want to do that. Then, then what do you do? You go with what's in your document. That's why you want to, when you're going through your divorce, put down your shared parenting plan, your, your parenting time that you're going to have. And remember, part of the letting go of grudges and remembering kindness, it's going to come back to you. So yeah. if your spouse wants a little extra time this year, you might want it next year, or you might want it the next holiday. So think about the future and, yeah. and how it's going to play back on you. Yep. Good advice. Do one to others, Not right? Tit for tat all the time, right? That's right. All right. Good advice. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you. you.